Hi guys, I'm Suhani from Suhana and I'm going to show you guys how to use your DIY henna kits. Inside of your henna kit is one of our business cards with all of our social media information, our website, and our email address. A henna kit instruction card with step-by-step -step written instructions of how to use this kit. As well as a henna cone storage and henna stain aftercare information card. You will also receive 10 or 15 pre-rolled henna cones that are empty depending on which size kit you choose. These are going to come stacked up like this so we're just separating them one by one. You'll receive the coordinating amount of pins that you'll need for the tips of the henna cones once you fill them, a pre-measured amount of henna powder, an empty piping bag to put the henna into the cones once it's made, a pre-measured amount of sugar, and a pre-measured amount of essential oil. Now let's get to making some henna. We highly recommend you mix your henna in a glass bowl, combine the full amount of your henna powder packet, the sugar, and the essential oil into the bowl first. And then begin adding your liquid of choice. We use lemon juice, but you can also use water. We recommend using a disposable plastic spoon to stir your henna. That way the essential oils don't penetrate a common kitchen utensil of yours. Henna is very absorbent, so it's probably going to take more liquid than you anticipated. Keep adding liquid little by little though, because it's easier to put more in than it is to take some out. Keep stirring, it's going to look a little bit lumpy, and that's totally normal. The clumps of henna powder actually break down in the dye release process. Here I'm just taking a wet paper napkin to clean down the sides of the bowl, so those don't turn into little crusty bits that end up falling back into the henna. Then I'm taking a piece of plastic wrap and I'm making sure that it touches the henna itself so the henna doesn't form a crust or a skin. And then you want to leave this in a warm place overnight. The next day, peel off the plastic wrap. A change in color is normal and indicates a successful dye release. Dye release is the process of allowing the henna to essentially cure, which gives it its ability to stain. As you can see, most of the clumps have broken down by now and it's a very smooth consistent paste here we're just checking for consistency this is entirely up to your preference if it's still a little bit thick for your preference you can add a little bit of liquid like we are here and continue to stir once the henna has achieved a consistency that you are happy with you can transfer it into your piping bag we are doing an optional step of straining our henna with the nylon stocking if you choose to skip this, just tip your henna right into the piping bag as is. If you would like to strain your henna though, we have linked the nylon stockings that we use in the description. And you want to put that stocking over the piping bag in the glass. And then pour your henna into this. Make sure you get every last bit out of your container. Once the henna is in the piping bag, you can fold up the edges of the stocking and the edges of the piping bag. And 
we do recommend you wearing gloves for this part because this is after the dye release process which means that the henna now has the ability to stain. Then you can twist the piping bag around the stocking to create a tight seal at the top and then use your other hand to pull the stocking out of the piping bag. This will leave all of the strained henna in the piping bag and will remove the stocking with any bits and particles out of the other end. Then use a rubber band to close off the top. Make sure this is also done very tightly so when you fill your henna cones, this part doesn't bust open. Now we can get to filling the cones. So once again, they're going to come stacked like this. We're just separating them one by one. And just make sure that each one is by itself so you're not filling two henna cones in the place of one. And then we're going to remove the pins from its bag. Keep those off to the side. And then snip off a small portion of the tip of your carrot bag or your piping bag. This is probably the most challenging part of the process. You want to insert the tip of the piping bag into the henna cone and alternate applying pressure from the top of the piping bag and the top of the henna cone. You're going to squeeze the top of the piping bag with your entire hand and the top of the henna cone with your thumb. Doing this back and forth motion allows the henna to get all the way down to the tip. Now we're going to seal them. Reinsert the pin into the tip of the henna cone. Take one piece of tape and go around the outer top edge of the henna cone. Press this tape down and then use your two fingers to squeeze all the henna back down into the cone creating a flat top. Then fold in each corner and then fold that top flap down two or three times. Use another piece of tape to secure this part and you can stop here if you want but we like to take another piece of tape and go horizontally to square off the edges of the cone and give it a tighter seal. And then one final piece of tape around the entire top of the cone to make sure that none of those other pieces of tape come off. And there you have it. Continue this process with all of your henna cones. The link to this kit is in our description. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and you are following our Instagram at suhenna underscore creations. Thank you guys. Stay safe and I love you.